When I grow up, Pros I want to be a singer. Kirsty Cross next Moses on the Chris Top Program. We need to power through any job. Like Hitachi, soon to be known as Matabo HPT. New name, same tools, same warranty. Stop. The Chris Top Program. And I am the one and only Chris Top, broadcasting live from our lavish home studio here in sunny Clarksville, Tennessee, with an ocean view. How in the hell are you doing, world? How are you doing? Uh, yeah, I am the one and only Ally Top, broadcasting long, even though he goofed really bad in the beginning. I did, dude. Alongside the man, the myth, the legend, the radio god, the man you wish you could be but will never be, Chris Freaking top. Uh, yeah. You, you, you. So I'm just gonna let you take over the show today because I just automatically just jumped right in and just I don't know what happened. It was like some goofed, something dude. crazy happened. Yeah, lot. yeah. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Names. I think it, it might have something to do with my yeah, chiropractor yeah, visit today too. I went to the chiropractor today. Mm-hmm. It was rough. It was rough. You know how like in the movies where they have like the ninjas that sneak up behind the guys and they grab their necks. Right, and then they're dead. Yeah, I, well, he didn't kill me, but it hurt, dude. It really, really hurt. And it sounded like that, too. Ooh. And I said, man, that sounds bad. And he's like, well, it sounds bad to you, but it sounds good to me. And I was like, okay. <laughs> but, I mean, I feel better. Yeah, yeah. I feel better. You got something. Right? Of course I do. <laughs> I was, I was <laughs> what did you eat today from Panera? Um, I had a brownie. And I, had I could have told you that from looking at your face. Wow. And now I'm all self-conscious, and I gotta look at myself. It's okay. You look beautiful now. Thanks. Now I do. Not then. All right. So we've got Kirsty Kraus on the show. What did I call her, Arc Foo, before the show started? Cross. Cross. How often do you get called that? Actually, not one time on the intercom in high school. Yeah. One time. Well, I've known you for like a year, and I think that's the first time I've ever done that. And I, I think it's because like when the show started, all that commotion was happening, and I just I just screwed up. But I got Art Foo right. Right? Yeah. Honestly, you guys, that Panera spread makes up for anything. Dude, I know. It's so good. It's so good. Booming. It is. And I took a, a really good picture of it, too, before we started. You have to send that to me. I'm going to send it to you. Okay. I'm going to send it to you. What did you eat? I had... What are those things called? They had the you chocolate, had the chocolate the croissant. Inside. Yes. yes. <sighs> and a little bit got on my pants, but it was worth it's it. It's a souvenir. It was worth right. it. <laughs> What's a souvenir? What? Well, did I say it wrong? Yeah. Are you did. just going to call me out on everything souvenir. that I do today? You know what? He's been so <laughs> sassy today. Like, wow. He's been, our has been something else. And I told him, I was like, it's not just right now. It's all day long. You've been doing weird things. So. Art Foo, you and me are going to have to stick together today, man. Me, uh, hashtag me too, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. It's the bro code. The bro, the bro code. Yeah, the bros have to stick together. Well, then the sisters got to stick together. Yeah. So. I'm, I'm glad there's another man in the room so we can like have man talk. And stuff. Shout out to Panera, bros before dope. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about it off okay. the air. <laughs> I just openly, like, I don't know. Dough, and dough right, rhymes but, with but something else. I always said that. It just sounds so silly. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, I it thought it works. was funny. It's, it's 
must be just for guys. Like, it's yeah. a guy thing. I, I get it though, and I'm not a guy, so yeah. But you're not laughing. See, like, yeah. Ooh, no, I laughed. Ouch. I went, oh, ouch. And then that was it. So how was it? Because you guys, you live in Nashville. Yes. Yeah. So you came all the way out here. How long did it take? It was 57 minutes. 57. You came all the way out here for pastries. Yeah, an excellent conversation. <laughs> and, Hopefully, uh, we'll see what happens. It'll be the first time if it is an excellent conversation. Wow. I'm what? really what? glad what? we came out to this space, though, because yeah. you guys did a really good job well, thank you. with this space. It, yeah. It, everything looks, every little detail. Honestly, awesome. all of this was him. Like, I think I had put tape on the wall at some point, but well, he's, I, he's, the, he's, Thank you. he's very like crafty and I'm not so crafty oh, in that kind of area, but he, all this was him. He's very crafty. Yeah. Well, I mean, when you love something like I love that, you know, you want to do it until it's, until it's right. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But I mean, what they don't know is though, how long it took me to put this desk together. Oh my goodness. This desk. <laughs> it came with a kit and then. Yeah, yeah right. I just think directions. It took you a there was stuff days. everywhere. Yeah, I wish they could see us on Facebook, but for some reason, Facebook doesn't like us today. It doesn't like anybody. The only thing yeah. that's working, and Allie told me this was Twitter. So we're live on Twitter. On yep. my Twitter page. Yep. So they can check, and I guess they can go back and watch that later too. Is that how it works? Does Twitter work like uh, that? I don't know. Live on Twitter, so <laughs> I actually don't know. Yeah. <laughs> We're but testing. regardless, regardless, though, if you're listening live not right now on the Chris Top program or on ChrisTopProgram.com, you can always go back later and listen on the website or you can listen on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Stitcher, Spreaker. Yeah, and then when, when the Facebook apocalypse is over and hopefully it does, you know, yeah. end at some point and zombies don't take over the world, yes. um, Again, I'll share the yeah. show on yep. social media. And stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we'll have pictures. <gasps> yes! Okay, high five. <laughs> I just I want to keep your story straight. Yes, yeah. or vampires. Actually, yes, right. vampire apocalypse, please. Vampocalypse. <laughs> yeah! We're watching, we're watching that show right now that's kind of like that, <laughs> yes, right? Yes, it's called The Passage. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, it is we're a vampire watching apocalypse. Good, good girls. girls. Good girl, what is that? Like that sounds girl, cheesy. It's like the girl version of Breaking Bad, but it's good, it's very good. Oh, <laughs> and they're like the girl version. They're, they're moms, no, and, and really now they're, like, good. doing That's gang great. activities. It's, it's very weird, but it's very, it has humor to it, too. Are like, they yeah. good at it? Like, yeah. But yes and no. No, they're not yeah. good at it. They, yeah. yeah, they have a hard time doing the acts. You know? So how did they get involved? You have to, like, honestly, if you have Netflix, it's funny. Yeah, Netflix is great. It's worth it. Good girls. Season Good girls. I don't know TV. if it doesn't have a vampire. I like how in she it. said they're doing gang activities. <laughs> uh, they're trying to keep gang it gang activities. Literally with gang members. Doing, yeah, it's like it's Breaking Bad, but with humor. Like I really that. liked Breaking Bad. This is a this is a little like lighter. Uh -huh. Yeah, doing Breaking Bad activities. would get heavy sometimes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm just sitting here thinking about Breaking Bad. Yeah, I, I, I want to watch it now. Right? Yeah. I watch Good Girls. Maybe. I don't know. They're it, like it, they're <laughs> both like. Oh, no. I don't know. It doesn't. Away. It doesn't have vampires in it. And I don't yeah, know. we'll think about it. We'll think <laughs> about it. We'll let you know. What so if I told you there's a vampire. In it? Then I would watch it. And we watch it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. So got to do. That's your newest single, right? Yes. So tell me about it. Who wrote it? Uh, I wrote it with Larry Singleton, mm -hmm. and we sat down and really just did the lyrics and at the time i was i think i was a year full time with music so <laughs> i was like i really just have to write this song about that the decision to leave the corporate world and go full time with music and just follow that my passion and my I dream i applaud you for that it was it was my i think my my dad was the most uh the person that was like shocked when i left my job and i was like no this is something we need to celebrate. Like, mm -hmm. I think he's yeah. trying to like give me a referral to another job. And I'm like, no, no, no. Now, is, no. He, is he over that now? Is oh, he happy yeah. you made the decision? Yes. Yeah. Or is he like, get a real job, Kirsty? No, he. No? they're both extremely supportive. They'll be here for CMA Fest. So you I'll get, get to meet them. Meet I, feel like you're, I feel like me and your yeah. mom are buddies now because she's always she's, like commenting and liking stuff on Facebook. I love her to death already. She like loves it all. Like she's yeah. on Twitter, like the whole thing. I think yeah. my dad just got a Twitter account yesterday. So oh, he got a Twitter. Me, he's great. like stepping up like my mom. <laughs> but um, then I brought it to Zeev and I was like, hey, here's what we have for the lyrics. And like, I kind of like sang not a melody, but like a vibe. 
And I was like, can you please help me finish this song? Because I believe in the message and the lyrics and I, I really want to finish it. And now it's a single. So uh, nice. I loved everything that we did with it. And, uh, it took us a while to release it, mm -hmm. but it was for me, it was worth the wait. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I'm excited to play it on the show because I've been listening to it. I've been kind of tearing it up. Okay. I always, like whenever I get recorded music to play on the show, I put it in order, like from an independent artist, like okay. from my favorite to my least favorite. I couldn't do that between these two. Yeah. I don't know I don't know which one I like oh, more than the snap. other. Up in the air. And, and I think it's because <laughs> the, both the songs are so different. And I like that especially on the same album, it's nice to have that variety. I mean, this one just, it just starts right out and just makes me want to go run a mile. And then yes. this one, I, I picture myself walking down the, the street with the Bee Gees, mm -hmm. you know, in the beginning, it's just funk, mm -hmm. you know, I remember you posted when I released delusional and you had said something like, I just had to listen to that song three times in a yeah. row. Cause there was yeah. so much going on and like, cool yeah. Parts and I, I loved that post. Mm -hmm. I was like, yes. It's a, it's a fun song. So I don't know which one to play first. I have, I don't know. So I'm going we'll to let you pick. We'll leave it to Allie. Or we'll let Allie make the decision. Because well, she was talking I, about I, how I, good yeah, she's. Yeah, I need yeah. to maybe listen we'll, more to the songs on the show before I can say okay. which one's my favorite. We well, could just pick one. Maybe we'll go in well, order. Let's go in. No. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't Allie's voice. That was. <laughs> but it kind of was, was my voice. Was <laughs> 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 You're going to make me like literally start. Which one Cry could like, be the vampire one in order. this one? Okay. Of, of okay. Release. Okay. So so, so that's gonna be delusional first, uh -huh. and then we're gonna we're gonna we gotta do gotta do after that. Yeah. Okay. Gotta do gotta so, do. I was thinking what we'd do since we'd play we play a recorded <laughs> you said one doo -doo, and like. Then okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna play <laughs> delusional first, and we're gonna do that right now. Um, and I would love to hear comments uh, from everybody that listens later on. You know, on the website, on wherever you can leave comment. I don't know. Twitter, Facebook, I don't know. Wherever that was really good. Today yeah, or tomorrow. a really yeah. good plug for yourself. There. Yeah, so I don't know this stuff. I just like to talk. <laughs> That's all I like to do. Uh, but you're absolutely positively in the right place. This is the Chris Top program. Kirsty Kraust, delusional, right here on the show. I don't need a hand to hold But I come on strong But you got me wrong I just like this song And the beat goes down Twist and turn But you never learn Sometimes a girl just got Sometimes 
no idea there was a video i just want to stop the show now and just watch it this is a really good song this is this is what i would categorize into a speaker song because i would want to have it on a loudspeaker and dance to it that that's okay. good yeah i can go with that so this isn't an earbud song okay there i have categories for music as far as like what i like there's in the car songs and those songs stay in the you car you can do this in the car Blast it. It's a little bit better than in the car. Maybe convertible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so, okay. So, okay. I got you. I got in you. In the car is like yeah. the lowest level. It's like, I like it, <laughs> but, you know, it's right. the lowest level. So, you right, did sure. good, but it stays but it in the could, car. Yeah. Okay. Uh, speaker is like, oh, this is really, really good. Yeah. So, I want it on the speaker so I can dance to it. And then headphones is like, this is so good that I literally can't stop listening to it. It's and like it's got to be in your there's, head. There's no category for that for any of yeah. those because I like all different kinds of categories. It just mm -hmm. has to uh, grab me, um, not lyrically, but um, musically. It just has to do with the instruments and how they fit with the person's voice. Yeah. And I'm really like weird like that about music. But yeah, that's this okay. is a really good song. Yeah, I think, and I, I think, like it a lot. Like For me, <laughs> it's, it, it's kind of nostalgic and contemporary at the same time. You know, because it, it kind of takes me back a little bit, but not so far back where, that I forget it's 2019, you know, because it's still it's still new as well. And it's just kind of fun for me to listen to. And I'm like, yeah, because I automatically liked it because of the beat. Mm -hmm. And then she starts singing and then breaking it down. It's a good and funky, funky beat, too, because some, yeah. sometimes funky beats can get a little like weird, like, wah, oh, wah, oh, and I'm like, mm. yeah. but this funky beat was like, this is real. <laughs> Yeah. This, it wasn't cheesy. It was like it was like you said. It was kind of contemporary, but mm -hmm. like so it was good. It was like mm. so you did like it because she'd yeah. she'd tell you she didn't. Sweet, she's yeah, very honest. I am too I'm honest here being about it. <laughs> yeah, and like with me, I just won't have you on the show if I don't like it. So you're here. Yeah, so, <laughs> it's just my nice way of being like ah, I don't know. Here. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so glad to hear all of that stuff that you guys just said. So, so the video, you did the video, I guess, when the song came out, or, or I guess before it came out. How, how, it I don't know actually, how that works. It dropped. This is probably why, because CMA Fest, it dropped the 4th, like June 4th, like the Sunday before CMA Fest started. Because mm -hmm. I, I just, so two weeks after the single came out, I made sure that the video, like a music video came out. And it was my first single, so I was really excited. And the, the whole day, and actually we shot it the same day that the single dropped. So not only was I like doing pro promo for the single all day, but we had the whole music video happening. It started at like 11. Uh, the festivity started and I think we got done taping at like three something. And then we went to the sushi place next door, right? Or the, the restaurant. It was sushi. Was it? Yeah. With everybody who like decided to stay and, hmm. It was it was like the best day ever. I felt like I was throwing a, I don't know, fifth grade birthday party. That's how I felt. I love to see Kirsty talk about this stuff. Could you just see her face? She's so happy. She is like, so happy. And you it's can, contagious. Yeah, you can tell she's just in the right place at the right time, doing what she's supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> so that was a great decision you made to leave your. What did you do before before you decided to pack up and come to Nashville? My first corporate job was I sold preventative maintenance. For critical power backup equipment. It sounds important, but it sounds kind of boring. It's right. It, it was not stuff that you normally know. You know, I yeah. had to learn. I learned a lot when I got on the job, and then I worked my way up to like one of the nine salespeople, and I was like the youngest person there by far. So, like taking in that corporate environment with people who were a lot older than me was hilarious and very entertaining, and they thought my questions were hilarious because I was like you know, holding a big stack of papers. And I was like, who reads this? <laughs> so more importantly, 
who wrote this? You know, so <laughs> it was it was so rewarding. Like when you did make a sale and you did your little sound. Uh, but after a year and a half, I was like, this isn't this isn't like rewarding like music is, you know. Right. And I'm glad I, I did it because that was my degree <laughs> was in sales and marketing. And so I went out and got that job and I, I tried it, you know. Mm-hmm. I tried it for for my fam. <laughs> and uh, and I knew that that wasn't the path I wanted to continue on. I wanted to just be doing music. And, right. And you yeah. said your dad freaked out a little bit in the beginning. Now, what yeah. about your mom? Was she behind you 100% the whole time? Yeah, I had she kind of knew it was coming like i my boss was amazing and he it was an it company so i was doing all the accounting admin like hr stuff there Mm -hmm. but it was like flexible times so he would allow me to take calls and do booking calls and but as long as i got the job done sure no and was diligent about my hours that i was there and when i wasn't there i wasn't you know on the clock so it was um so sometimes I would go off the clock and then I would work on music stuff while I was there. Mm-hmm. And, um, it just came April right before summer. And I had a full summer of like 53 shows. And I was like, I don't know how I'm going to do this kind of thing. It's time. And, uh, he came to me and we had worked from seven employees to 15 employees. So he was like, Hey, we would really love you if you went full time. I was like, actually, I think it's time for me to go and do music. And he knew, I mean, he totally knew me as a friend first. Mm -hmm. So, um, he got it and he was so supportive. And so I trained somebody and transitioned out. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. He was pumped. I mean, he, he just got it. So I love you for doing that because that takes guts. Were you scared? I, I remember like after it happened the next day, like not, you know, not going in or the next time I think it was Monday and I, I didn't go in and I was like, Oh my gosh, I'm just going to take a bath. I'm just going to, I'm just going to take a bath and like relax a little bit. Cause mm-hmm. it feels weird. It did. It was like a big, it was a big move yeah. in the brain. So I was like, it's giant, giant, you know, everybody thinks about doing that, uh, just going off and following their dreams and doing what they were meant to do, but hardly anybody ever does. Yeah. So I don't know what percent you're in, but it's not a very big percentage and i think it was like i reference and gotta do it was just it was the voice in my head like i couldn't not hear it like be like you should you know just go do your yeah and i think that i think that voice nags everybody to a certain point till it it gives up you know and then you just sort of get caught in a routine and you just nine to five you know every day yeah yeah i think what kept me going too was like all the trips to nashville i've done since I think the first time I came to Nashville, I was 11 and then I started coming 15, 16. And then really regularly when I went full time, um, I came as much as I could. And it was like a year every other month and then a year for a month. And I think that's when I talked to you was how many years, like, was it two or three years ago? I want to say it was t- at least two years ago, yeah, maybe I three, maybe little, more. Yeah. Like two yeah. and a half or something. Mm-hmm. Cause yeah, I was just making trips down. Like, yeah, because you weren't living here yet at that I was time. Like yeah, part time. I like to say I was part time living, like coming down every month and being here for ten days. And yeah, then and home. you were just like on the move all the time because I think we we were trying to get you scheduled for CMA Fest that year, and something came up, and you had to leave or go back home Early, or something. Yeah, for shows. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, oh, you had yeah. to go make the money. Right. You know, those paying gigs are important. <laughs> right. That a festival came up. I remember that, and I yep. felt so bad because mm-hmm. I wanted to like be in in person well you know here we are though yes it, it happened yes. it happened and we've got and this summer music too to share, so that's yes yes this summer yes cma fest will be i'm awesome. so excited for the cma fest it's gonna be dope yeah uh, last year was Kirstie's, my first cma fest last year we missed it because i was working on my health last year that was my big focus so i could focus on that and this is our comeback tour mm-hmm. cool uh, this year. So it's going to be bigger and better than ever. Hopefully yes. I got my fingers yes. crossed. Yeah. But well, you, you're going to be one of, whole lineup scheduled, yeah. So you're yeah, gonna, yeah. You're, you you're one of 24 artists that we've got. Uh, yeah. So lined up for interviews. So it's going to be it's pretty week. interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I may reach out to you too about uh, that Sunday night. Okay. Yeah. So I'll let you know. I won't put you on the spot or anything, but I haven't really announced what we're doing yet. So, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. It's going to be lit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so say if I want to catch you sometime live, 
performing, whether it's a writer's round or whether it's on stage with a band? Like, where, how do I know that, that information? Like, Yeah, I do all the spaces. So uh, you guys know Song Kick? Song Kick is linked to Spotify. So go on any of those. You can see all the, like, literally all the stuff. So uh, Bands in Town, my website, Facebook. Okay, so time. everything's there. And you, do you have like a schedule up on your website? Or, yes. okay, okay. Do you keep it updated pretty good? Oh, or, yeah. yeah. I've actually been told a couple of times that I'm, I'm one of those that they're, they're always thankful because I do have it every, mm-hmm. every show. And as soon as I book it, that's when I add it. Yeah. So it could be whatever time. Even if it's a last, I think it was a last minute thing the other night that I played for Nash Up and someone canceled. So she asked. And so we, we ran out there and, um, I still added a Facebook event after the fact. <laughs> so I was like, gotta keep record. Right. Keep record. right. <laughs> Straight. And I love, I love her because she's been like networking the, the crap out of this too. Like a freaking bounce. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's great. Yeah, it's that's great. No- that's normal. Yeah. Right? We're gonna have her on every other week. That way, you know, <laughs> right. we're always that out we, there. We, our numbers will only be. Like- yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, all right. So I got to ask you two seem to have been hanging out a lot lately. <laughs> like so tell me give me some details like what's are you just like boy business partners or is there a little more here than that well you you already know right but you're yeah. asking, okay. i know because we talked about it <laughs> okay well, i just want everybody else to know yeah yeah yeah. so <laughs> Z i gotta ask I these questions just had our two-year anniversary two years we were nine months <laughs> for nine months we were long distance and I, you know, we both have never been a long distance. It was like, Ugh. but he made it work. Like he drove up to Wisconsin, which is where I'm from every 12 days. Like we didn't go 12 days without seeing each other, which is insane. Dang. It's like a nine hour drive. So he really, <laughs> he really courted me. So, so you had a long distance for that. Now, where were you living? Where, where was, were you again? The same place. You were here. Okay. So, okay. Okay. From the west side of Nashville. So you you found like a great person to to hang out with then. Oh my gosh! I, I mean, have, I've never been with anybody who's done music before, and uh, so that's like a whole other world. It's like we have a relationship, and then we get to do music together too. It's, it's kind of crazy. It's do you ever get tired of each other though? Like, where you need time by you know, yourself? I am a very I like his. I love. His attention. I'm a very demanding with attention. So, is he I'm, clingy? I no. I'm saying I'm the, You're the clingy one. Like, I always want to hang out and um. Yeah. He wrote a song about it. Um, so we now that we we've, we've been together for two years, I think I'm a little better with um allowing like us to work separately. I think that's More. good sometimes because, like, sometimes you just need to be by yourself and, like, yeah, kind of, yeah. What do you think? I'm gonna put you on spot. What do you think? No, it's all good. <laughs> Is it really though? Uh, Answer the question appropriately. <laughs> I was in my bedroom on the night of the 23rd. <laughs> um, no, I, I I love giving her attention, and I love doing music with her. And like every other normal couple, there are times where we want to strangle each other. And we sure. Get sick of each other because, <laughs> we're, because we work together and we both work from home. So mm-hmm. like all you see is each other Literally, like 20 24 hours, 7. 24 hours a day. <laughs> so like, you know, there are times where, you know, if I'm like moving around too much in the bed, she'll kick me out and I'll go sleep in the original. We call it A and B. We have, a, we have, we have like nicknames for like A and B. <laughs> so, um, but no, I think I think we're we're a very average couple. We yeah. you know we just see each other way more. So it's sure. probably like we've yeah. you know, for other couples they because we see each other so much, it's almost like we've been dating for that much longer. You know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. we get and, to hang out. And the beginning of our relationship. So most people don't live together the minute they decide they're a couple. I mean, it's very right. It's very, yeah. Especially, I mean, I essentially. Lived in Wisconsin with my parents and with their, with their parents for six in months in the basement. Thanks, mom. <laughs> Thanks, mom. You lived in your mom's basement. Hashtag That's mom's epic. Rule. But um, no, it, it just it it was a very unique way <coughs> to start a relationship because essentially I became part of her family immediately. Mm-hmm. So 
I would say good and bad, not good and bad, but like good and other, you know, I got to see the inner workings of her family and I got to learn, yeah. I got to learn mm-hmm. a lot about like why Kirsty is the way she is. All how, my how cards she, were how out. She turns <laughs> out you know, Nothing to hide. I wasn't, that's kind of scary. The person that was like, a cer- what, you, what would you call it? Someone who's like holding back or, I mean, I, sh- I showed him Protective. All, yeah. the, all the stuff. Yeah. So All was, the good and the bad. It was very unique. It was a very unique way to get to know each other. And and, and he's still here. I'm still here. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, yeah that's good news. No, it, was, it was good. It was it was, it was was an experience that I, I will cherish and never forget. Well, you guys seem so happy together. Yeah. So you're, you're both in a, in a place that you love, you're doing what you love, and you're with somebody that you love, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. It's a pretty good deal. Yeah. Who wouldn't want that? Right. It's almost like every day is a vacation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what are you going to sing for me live? Mm, I'm going to sing a song called Bird. Bird. Mm-hmm. Okay, like birds in the sky or, or like the I'm going to flip slip, you the bird. Right. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to flip thing. you the bird. Okay, oh, gotcha, gotcha. snap. You know I'm sassy. It's I know like, you're yeah. sassy. What? What? What's a but? Well, I'm going to flip you the bird, but I'm... Oh. Yeah, but I'm not. It's okay. This you're song is about it. you're not worth. You're it. not like, worth the bird. All your negativity <laughs> can scoot to somebody else who's got time for that. And um, okay, yeah. okay. So, did you write this about somebody or? Actually, no. I wrote down on a piece of paper, "Grit your teeth." That was that's what I came in with, and I was like, you know, it's about no matter how you know how other people are towards you, like any negativity, you just gotta like. Get your teeth, smile through it, and shake it them, off. Yeah, you let them kind of go in their own direction. Mm-hmm. That's what I came with, and so we the the song title ended up being "Bird." <laughs> okay, well, I'm excited. But well, I'm I'm just gonna mute our mics and leave yours open and let you guys have the show. Okay. All right, here we go. Never thought I could be affected by a criticism, poisoned by a cynicism, lies dim the shine side of me, but only in a shadow of clouds. This is my philosophy now. Hey, hey, I grit my teeth, then bury it, forget it. You ain't even done enough to steal my pride. Shade don't got merit, share it with somebody else who wants to waste their time. I'm gonna raise my cheeks and smile for you And just for the record I ain't cursing You ain't worthy You don't deserve my bird My Every breath is my currency Spend it on the positive Loving how I'm dropping it I let her fly Spread her wings But only in my head and my dreams Read between the pointer and ring Hey, hey I grit my teeth then barely forget it You ain't even strong enough to steal my pride Shade don't got merit Share it with somebody else Who wants to waste their time I'm gonna raise my cheeks and smile for you But just for the record I ain't cursing You ain't worthy You don't deserve my burn I ain't cursing You ain't worthy You don't deserve my burn my, 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 my bird You, you don't deserve My, 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 my bird My, 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 my bird You, you don't deserve My, 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 my bird I never thought I could be Affected by your criticism, poisoned by your cynicism. Ain't cursing, uh, you ain't worth it. Uh, you don't deserve my burn. I ain't cursing, uh, you ain't worth 
pain you don't deserve my bird my 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 bird you you don't deserve my 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 bird my 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 bird you you don't deserve my 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 bird Dude, what, oh, what right. is it about you guys? I mean, I... Yay, uh, that's a brand new song. <laughs> that is so good. I, I don't know. Nobody's when are you gonna re- When are you going to release it? So, the record is now going to be 14 songs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do they call a record that has so many songs on it? Is it a like CD? an EP? It's like a... It's sh- an LP. So, this would oh. be an LP. I mean, like... Wait. But, I mean, like an LP has like 10 or 11 songs, right? What is a CD, then? A CD is like a compact disc. Really, anything. Just so a, a, a record, like any, so, anything that you call a record, is anywhere. I think uh, you're allowed to have up to seventy nine minutes on on one specific thing, unless it's a special okay. project, like for a release. Gotcha. Um, and I think that the tech came nerd about. coming in. <laughs> I feel like I've been. I wasn't even really expecting life. an answer. I'm <laughs> no, he, he knows. But he well, knows if you think a lot of things. It, right? a, a CD <laughs> can hold a certain amount of information. Yeah. It's like 650 megabytes, and at 44 one a wave file, right? You mm-hmm. can fit so many minutes of music. Mm-hmm. So I think you can fit like I think it's like just 17? about 80, 80 minutes of music ish. So you're gonna fill it up. It will well, be <laughs> cutting it close. Oh my gosh! And I, you know, I would love to write more awesome songs that I would want to squeeze. But may I'll just have they'll have to wait till the second record. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you could release like a double album. Oh my gosh! Yeah. I just want just to release a box set right off the bat. <laughs> right, boom. Well, honestly, like for me, you know, I I don't know did we mention so Kirsty is signed to my label. Um, and like EMC two EMC2 records. records, and I obviously am producing the record, so. For, for me, my heart says, your first record, you put your best stuff on there. Like, if you've recorded 10 songs and you happen to write 10 hit songs after that's recorded, before you release it, you put the, ne- the next 10 on there. Mm-hmm. You know, this business is incredibly difficult. You have yes. so many talented people, and, and yeah. Christy right. being one of them, and like, you just gotta like, hit them where it hurts the first time. So sure. You can, you know? And putting out a record is I've told people it's it's a big deal. It's like in your lifetime you probably have less records out than as many birthdays that you have. You know, like mm-hmm. not even probably. Like that's a that's a unless you're like Tony Bennett, hundred and seventy six yeah. records or something. Yeah. Um so this is this is like my you know how every song's your baby, but this is this is something else. Like this yeah. is, it's, it's really special to yeah. have a record. You know, and I, I sit here and I watch you two, and I just you really click together, both of you, when you're when you're performing and doing your thing. I mean, you were getting into this, and we're just in this little studio. But I mean, I can imagine, you know, on a stage, what you're going to do. I mean, that's well, you just heard us live. I mean, you, well, yeah, I've seen you, yeah. but I mean, it's just like I, I felt like, yeah, I felt like I was like a getting a, a, just a regular performance, like a mm-hmm. great performance, right yeah. here. Cool. Yeah. Awesome and it sounded great. Yeah, and you guys just clicked. Myself. Yeah. <laughs> that was just fun. Oh, it was fun. We need to get them just to stay and just sing all day and play. No, I was just actually yes. going to say the same thing. I was like, I think we need to get you guys to move in so that when the business gets better, <laughs> you can just be like, you guys are great. You guys are amazing. Awesome. Here's some Panera. <laughs> <laughs> Panera is awesome. That is not what their voices sound like. I was trying to figure that's out who my, you were trying to imitate. You know how you ever got? That's exactly what I sound like. You ever watch Family Guy or any of <laughs> yeah, those? Yeah, uh huh. It's just it's my like alternate person. Sure. Like a voice other than <laughs> so that people can recognize me. <laughs> well, I thought it sounded like me. Thank you. You sound like this. Yeah. <laughs> See, everything's funny when you do that. It is. It works. It does kind of work actually. Yeah. I like vampires. Okay, so we've got the record coming out. Yes. Um. When when is it going to be done? Have you told me that yet? It will be done. By May 26th. I and thought you were going to say, it will be done when I say it. Oh, that's a good time. I'm, well, then that, I'm so. glad we have you back on June in, the, in June because that's pretty good timing. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Have, we didn't do that on purpose either. It just kind of happened that way. Yeah. I will have the record in hand. Um, and everybody who was a part of the Kickstarter mm-hmm. will get the record. And come to live shows, we'll be able to get the record. 
Um, now, how how, how, are, how can we be a part of the Kickstarter? Like it's 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 went through the thirty six days that it, it went through, and um, oh, we so raised, we already goofed. It was a like a uh, year ago. Wah, wah, and wah. no, maybe yeah. And um, really? I raised over like it was like fifteen thousand five hundred dollars. What was your oh, goal? Dang. Fifteen thousand. <laughs> yeah. So oh, that's it great. Felt, it was so weird to do a Kickstarter, but I mean, all my hometown peeps came through, and like they are, you know, ask me all the time, like, "How's it going?" How the night? I give them updates on the record, and so I cannot wait to May twenty fifth. Actually, May twenty fifth is the date. That I have a huge hometown show, and we're opening for Randy Hauser, and um, I'll be able to deliver the album to everybody. And so, oh, how cool is that? That's what we're gearing up for. Yeah. So, okay. So at CMA Fest, uh, you'll have hard copies available there. Oh yes. Okay. So, like, how much is the how much is it going to cost? Like for for the album, have you thought of that far yet? Uh, no. Okay. So if if somebody. <laughs> to be if somebody doesn't see you in person, uh, how can they get a hard copy? In person? Um, like, are you going to have something set up where they can order it? Yeah, unlike the merch. Okay, so. Page on the website. Okay, we'll so. they have that going. Now, if somebody wants to, like, request an autograph, can you do that too? Will you? Yeah, I okay. have people. It's so crazy. I have people that message me and do that. And so I. Sent you know some one gentleman sent me a like an envelope within the envelope with a stamp and everything and I was like this is great this is, you're awesome you get it like, I'll for sure send it out right right now right <laughs> so that's very helpful everybody just so you know yeah okay that's good that's good advice yes. yeah but yeah, yeah and I'll write a little note to them and then I'll sign it I have some notes and I'm gonna send out these gotta do uh, posters uh, to all the people who pre ordered the single and uh working on that today so i'm excited and we we got one of those today yes. one these the posters, posters are booming yeah. awesome. and then we put one up on the wall booming. yeah it looks good and you mentioned the kickstarter so for people that um missed the kickstarter uh kirsty can do uh, all sorts of things that some of the kickstarter people had an opportunity to do like we can do live shows in their home we do home concerts so that was one of her packages okay we can do it with like band we can do it acoustically there's different levels oh and my favorite how many cool points would that get you if like you had these guys come play in your house yeah. like for all your friends like at a barbecue we're going to texas yeah. yes. we're going to texas the second week of april to do one of those yeah. and we just wrote a song with like a custom song for for one of my fans and that was we did two skype session sessions with her we just like did it right did our time on the song i asked her to um register with bmi so she, it's like all official so wow I the song. <laughs> that's cool yeah, that's legit. That yeah. Cool. Get, but, get all set just in case something happens with the song i, I want you to yeah. like, I, I bet those house parties are fun oh yeah we i mean you see our banter already so yeah we have fun telling stories and we have a lot of songs collectively so yeah. it's a fun it's a fun time oh that's cool that's really cool that is so cool i'm fangirling right now yeah I, <laughs> All right, so at CMA Fest, I want to get our hard copy autograph, but I do want to pay for it. Don't give it to me, okay? Okay. So you got to let us pay for it. I'm like blushing. You didn't say how much, though. You can give it to me for a penny. Bruh. Good call. (laughs) Bring a penny. But uh, we do want to, you know, we want to support you any way that we can, and we uh, missed the Kickstarter thing, so, you know, we got to lease buy a CD, right? Mm -hmm, Right. I mean, she gave us an autograph picture. Yeah, I think we should pay more than a penny for it. I kind of out of two. (laughs) But, yeah. So, and they'll be able to get the digital copies as well, uh, just, I guess, everywhere, right? Yeah. So, what's that, 99 cents a song? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm sure they're easy to steal, though. You don't have to. Dude. What? Oh. What? I mean, I could just no. go, in, I've got the equipment. I could just go in there and record it. Just because have you it. have the equipment doesn't mean yeah. that you should. Like, okay. Should you have cloned a lamb? No, but they did it anyway. <laughs> Like, I didn't expect you to go there. That was strange. I went there. Okay. Like you you don't you never know what you're gonna get with me. But Hashtag listen dolly. <laughs> Right? Somebody knows. Okay, so listen up, y'all. If you think it's cool to steal music, you're not. You're being a freaking fool. Like go out okay. there, um, sacrifice your sword on Minecraft or freaking oh, Fortnite or Those whatever it is you're cents. playing right now. Yeah? Okay. And get the freaking 
African-American music. Like, don't rip it off the internet and, like, try to steal somebody's dream. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's cheap and sure. ugly. It yeah. does help. And I will, I will say the best place to buy music is obviously iTunes, but the even best, like, better than that is going directly to the artist's website because of that 99 cents, they get the most. Okay. okay. See, so you know? do it. Because on iTunes, you get, like, what, nine cents? Huh. If that? Yeah, I mean, I literally. 66%. So, well, yeah. So iTunes takes so if it's a ninety-nine cent song, you get something like sixty-three or sixty-five cents. But on the website, you get you can get like ninety some. Okay, so that's the so, best way to yes. do it then, for sure. Right. So do it, do that. Don't steal the music. And if I find out that you're stealing the music, mm-hmm. I will hunt you down. That should scare everybody I was into buying to the music. That. Yeah, <laughs> I know you were. I know you, but it's important. I mean, you can skip a Starbucks coffee one day and, and buy a bunch of songs. So. For real, bro. Yeah, there's no use in stealing it. Right. If you like it and want them to write more, then you have to. Make sure they can to afford that, to do that. Right? Yeah. I mean, so we can make another record. Yes. Yeah. Not yes. everybody is oh, as rich okay. as Ariana okay. Grande. Go. Bros before Joe. Oh, oh see? Yeah. That's a pin Oh. Oh. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Do you I have love R2. I, gotta, I just want to hang out with R2. Wah, 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 what? Wah you go ahead. I, yeah. I don't know which one it is. Yeah. <laughs> I think I forget. it's the green one. I have no control she over it. I used to be super quiet. I don't think you were ever quiet. I mean, That's a lie. if it wasn't for me, we definitely, he would be in the basement. He yeah. would be in the studio every day, all day. Like, I bring him out. So you'd be like a hermit in there doing your thing with your headphones on? All day. No headphones. No, just. Uh, blaring it. You sit here making fun of vampires, and yet you're like lurking in the basement. <laughs> yes. He was a lurker before he got with you. <laughs> Well, I mean, it makes sense because yeah. that's your first love. Yeah. So right. First, yeah. Yeah. That was the woman before Kirsty. That's right. Yeah. He actually refers to music as a as a relationship. Yeah. Well, I get that. I totally get that. And I think a lot of artists have to, or a lot of artists look at it like that because you don't want to ever make that decision. Like, okay, do I put the person that I love before my music, or do I put my music? Do I keep it first because it is my first love? So, I mean, it's a hard decision for some artists, but luckily for you two. We share it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you didn't and have you to gotta, make those you decisions. you got to find somebody who understands that, that yeah. um, your passion is. That they might have to sit in the back seat sometimes. Yeah. The best thing happened was when we were in the car and we both had to warm up. And like warm-ups, have you ever heard what warm-ups sound like? They're not pretty. <laughs> They're not. Things. I've heard, yeah. So we were both doing it at the same time. <laughs> time and it's like this is great you should youtube it you should (laughs) (laughs) so so we got the album any more videos coming out yeah so actually we so gotta do this picture was taken in our school bus which is a short bus that we took out all the seats and that's what we traveled in last summer around the country so that was really fun with the band and that was my first time ever doing anything like that going to new states um so i want to do a lyric video with the bus and scenes with the bus and so we're getting all the details down right now and um i'm gonna partner with somebody so i'm I'm really excited as much as you travel i bet you get all kinds of great footage and stuff for video potential and, and all that kind of thing yeah i mean with our with what cell phones can do these days, mm-hmm. I'm constantly like that was fun, you know. Like you can just whip it up and, and take a take a video. So yeah, I yeah. have a lot of memorabilia that way. I think before Zeev met me, he said he had uh, like five photos of him, and <laughs> it literally said literally. last year, like the photos that I have on Google Photos is like eight hundred and something. Uh, <laughs> no, no, eight hundred something. Like a, a while ago. Oh, yeah. No, probably more like now. Into the thousands. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's gotten really good at um, oh, posing for pictures. He's striking a pose now? Yeah. I, I never smiled in pictures before. I never knew how to, to smile like a normal person. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Because he's a vampire. Why did you not take Aww. pictures before? Because you're a vampire. <laughs> I watched this thing on Eric Clapton. I don't know if this all makes sense. He was saying that he's like this super egotistical guy who has like an inferiority complex 
And that I, I was like, that's me. Like, I totally get it. Like, there are certain things I'm really, that's not one. Like, I don't like looking at myself in pictures or videos or like, I don't, I don't do that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. I love what I do. And I'll tell you, you know, I, I love my, I love her music. Like, I love it. I'll sit and listen to it all day and just sit and listen to my own self. But like with pictures, just not my thing. I don't know. I just mm-hmm. But she's, she's put you more at ease with that now? For sure. Like, now yeah. I can literally take a normal human being. But before, I was just like... <laughs> well, did you have a problem, like, being on stage and doing your thing, like, before? Not really. So I guess that's different than... Different than... No, because that's... You're exposing, you're exposing yourself in such an intimate, deep way. It's, it's different than taking a photograph, which for me is very... It's a, I, I respect the art, but it, it, for me, it's just, it was never my thing. Mm-hmm. I don't know. So she you, you brought him out of his shell. She yes, takes amazing did. pictures. She always looks good. It's ridiculous. Like every picture, she looks the, like good, the same. <laughs> <laughs> I did not pay him. I think that was a compliment. No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and what happens is, you take like, multiple pictures. Cause you're like, you were closing your eyes in that one. You were looking to the wrong. <laughs> But in all the different pictures, like she looks the same, and I'm like, ah. Anyway, so okay, so who cooks? Who cooks that. in the that relationship? Both. Yeah, we both do. But she's the better. I cook, do more. Sure. So you're the better cook. What's your What's your specialty? Okay. I, gotta, I gotta say this. I, I'm, I'm shocked to say this. Okay, when I first met her, like, <laughs> oh, like a microwave dinner would have been a big oh, deal God. for her. <laughs> Okay. Oh, so his, so he made some good changes with you then. No, no, no. Oh yeah, yes, in general, yes. Oh, okay, yes, in general. But like, she can cook. Like yeah. her food is amazing. Oh, you oh, could dang. cook. You just you were just lazy with the microwave stuff. I don't even think she knew she I had a talent was for in it. My, yeah, yeah. I, I've I've definitely developed like a passion for it, and he got me like a spice rack, and I'm all about oh, it. Oh, okay. I, I make, yeah. I just like don't sometimes don't even follow recipes, and I just like throw things together, and um, I don't know what. Would be like my specialty. I kind of just make a, a little bit of everything. Salmon. When you guys are watching TV, and... who's remote master? Me. <laughs> Wait a minute. I have two different answers. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> Argument live on the Crystal program. <laughs> I was a quarterback. Call, come on. I have to. This is one of those you could tell. I have to be the master of the remote. I, like, I, can't, I hold it like it's the ring from okay. Lord of the Rings. Moment in truth. He is. Yeah. So when you guys go out to, uh, like to see a movie, like who picks the movie? Every time. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Now, does she pick good movies or the <laughs> girly like movies? Shock. Uh, I don't mind. I, I, girly movies I'm all the way. Big, oh, girl, I'm bye. A big, fan, big fan of movies in general. Yeah. So as long as it's not something like ridiculous and stupid, I'm right? Fine. Right. And then I'm usually entertained, but she usually picks the movies. And I am a talker. Yeah, during the movie. Does she talk during the movie? She talked oh. during the movie. Why, did he, why would he do that? Why? Why would he do that? Like a lot or a but little bit. But at least bit. she's talking about like the movie, and not something else, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, that's good. That's a plus. She said, do I talk a lot or a little bit? Uh, it depends on the movie. Like, if someone does... So, Kirsty is very emotional, so if she... If someone does something that would offend her in real life... Oh, I get like, like, that in the movie. What? I do that a little bit, too. I'm oh. like, no, you didn't. She, she yeah. would totally pull a happy Gilmore and go up to the screen and, like, start... <laughs> I do. Yeah. I'm vocal. If, oh, yeah. if That's when, like, like I, I was at the movie theaters when that uh, Beauty and the Beast came out with a live, you know, version, yeah. and uh, Gaston punched Belle's father. I, like, almost stood to my feet and oh my shouted. Gosh. Like, I had to restrain myself. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you guys do together in your free time when you're not writing stuff or singing or performing or whatever do we know that in free time do we um, know that word yeah we don't really but uh <laughs> it's about as english as that when you were telling right. me well i feel like you're really always coffee. somewhere performing or doing something and i know any yeah. most of the downtime you have you probably are working i'm, I'm doing admins you know yeah like emails and and the phone calls and yeah where all my screenshots are you know adding them to the spreadsheet so I'm answering my weird questions out. that I text you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, I got to do that. Um, oh, yay. Weird questions. I'm excited for that list. Thank you for doing that, by the yeah, way. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we, we do Netflix and then we, we, we go. We work out together sometimes. Yeah. We'll, we'll go to track together. Um, secretly. I just I have to throw this we, out there. We do She's date secretly things. a really freaking good athlete. I mean, like when she oh, runs. Oh, dang. Oh, yeah. When she runs. It's like a gazelle out there. I mean, she is. It's pretty impressive. Like, 
good form. <laughs> she's got great form. Um, yeah. She's, I mean, I when we cook, you know, we sit and like have dinner together, and um, we we are lucky that because we do work from home. So sometimes it'd be like two p.m. I'd be like, hey, will you um, you want to come upstairs and? Like hang out with me while I make lunch or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do, mm-hmm. do you do you have like a when you guys are working at home? Do you have like a certain cutoff time where you just okay? We've got to stop at five o'clock. We can't okay, work past yeah. that. Nine p.m. Do you do that? Nine p.m. How important is that? It's it, it's not like we like we vocalize like that's it, but like I think at nine p.m. after going all day long, both of us are like we're, we're tired done. anyway. We're, yeah, we're yeah. like done for the day, and like. I was, we were just having this conversation. I was like, babe, we don't have to, every day it doesn't have to be. So we're going to implement, you know, like one day a week, a day off, like mm-hmm. time outside. I think that's, that's okay. important. Yeah. yeah. Especially with summertime coming up. Yeah. And yeah. So I think we're, we're going to do that and um, n- not work till nine every night. <laughs> now you're going to be, you mentioned you're going to be in Texas this year. Yes. Uh, like, do you have any other states or places picked out? Um, we, Oh, hey, I grew up there. Really? Where? Yeah. Uh, Worcester. I don't know if you've ever heard it. It's northern Ohio. Worcester. Worcester. She made it up. It's not a real place. It's a real yeah. place. Uh, We're going to be Westerville, right? Or is uh, it a Lum Creek Park? Worcester, W-O. Uh-huh. People, people from that aren't from there call it Worcester. What's the county? Uh, Wayne County. Oh, Wayne County Fair. I played that. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I've been there all kinds of times. Yeah. That's cool. We'll be in Wisconsin for sure. Um, We're looking at some... Dates for Florida. Yeah. And, is this like the got to do tour or? I think that's going to be 2020 is going to be a huge. We'll do the album. Al- yeah. We'll like call it the album tour. Okay. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. It's going to be probably like a hundred shows. Like We're going to do a lot. Now are you going to get like a show at the last minute and not be around in June? No, no, no. no. We're, we're <laughs> like, CMA Fest is important to be here. And uh, I have that blocked off the calendar. We'll be bopping around on town. I'm going to do as many shows as I physically can that week and uh, we're actually going to start doing a lot of full band showcases in town nice so like after yeah. the record comes out we'll we'll be doing that so look for those yeah it'll be fun all right well we've got one more song oh, and yeah. uh, I know we've we've already went over our time limit but sorry guys we won't, won't, won't. you know <laughs> I always tell everybody 40 minutes but it just depends uh, okay so this one's called gotta do um, and you wrote this by yourself, co-write? This was with Larry Singleton. Okay, this is, okay, about, okay. You know, about leaving, and, right. then, and then I brought it to Zeeb and was like, please help finish this song and, and come up with this awesome melody. Yeah. So, okay, so you were the melody man. Mm-hmm. And All right. I helped build the whole, the whole track, like, the song, so... All right. So if you want to get now, they can go ahead. They can get um, delusional and they can get got to do on on your website right I'm now. Excited. Website. Yeah, so they can go there and get it on the website. All that good stuff. Um, no excited. physical copies yet till I guess the album comes out. Is that right? Right. Okay. All right. I'm excited to see which one I like better. I am too. I'm you curious. You said you don't have a favorite, but I'm like, I'm going to have a favorite. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so this has got to do Kirsty Krause right here on the Chris Top program.
Got to do Kirsty Cross on the Chris Top program. You know, I Dude. okay. So I'm just gonna let you talk because I know I know you want to give your opinion. So you, you messed up her name again. I do want to hear your opinion. You said did I say it again? again? Did I say Cross? What is wrong yes. with me? Oh, it's just like, like freaking Devin. Look at her name. It's just like freaking Devin. I was doing that. I was calling her Devon or yeah, something. Yeah, you were the whole you're time. like Devon the whole time. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. I say it once and it's done. It's all over, bro. All right. Uh, delusional is my favorite, actually. Okay. The first one is your yeah. favorite. Like I can't hands pick. Down. I can't pick between them. Like it's hands down. It's my like favorite. if I'm listening to that particular one, then that's my favorite. But then when I hear the other one, then that's my favorite. I just Gotta can't do. Um, okay, so like I was talking about my rating system for songs I like. This yes. isn't. This has nothing to do with songs I don't like. Um, this last song was probably a car song. Okay. So like it. But I feel like it's more like travel vibes, and I would want I would pick this song to listen to in the car. I'd be like, let's listen to this song. So it'd be on your you know? playlist if you're going on a road trip. Uh huh. Okay. But it wouldn't be in my speaker, and it wouldn't be in my headphones because it's just not that vibe. But mm-hmm. I would want it in my car. And delusional, I like it better because I can dance to it and I can mm-hmm. like kind of like feel it and like you know like. Well, that. I mean, odds are you know when you're putting 14 songs on an album too, though you're not gonna like every song that's on. Right, it. and the fact is, um, it doesn't matter who you are. I don't care if you're Ariana Grande or Tina Turner. There's <laughs> gonna be songs on your album that I don't feel as much as the rest of them. So, yeah. like, I have I have one Ariana Grande song out of 50 million that she's made that I actually like. So shoot. Mm-hmm. Now, okay, so, but you'd put dysfunctional on your, I mean, delusional on dysfunctional. dysfunctional. I'm just going to go home. I'm already home. I can't home. even do that. I can't even do that, dude. So you're going to put delusional on. It's all on, my speakers. So, so you're going to listen to that a lot? Mm-hmm. I would listen to it a lot. Like all the time. Yeah. All the time. And I'm kind of surprised because I usually don't go for the funkier songs. I go for songs that are a little um, alternative and weird and, you know, yeah. or rock or sometimes pop. So. Um, oh hi Abby. Um, I usually wouldn't go for delusional, but like this time I'm like, yeah, it's like the beats were right and it like matched with your voice and everything, and I was like, I love this. Yeah. Cool. Well, good, good. It was booming. I like them both. I just well, like I them, like both. them yeah. both too, but I have a rating I mean, I, system. I, I, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. She gets into it too. She gets into it. I like it. I like that you have categories. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm I'm proud of our. Now you call these like little mini posters. Yeah. Yeah, so you can get these on the website as well. Cool. Posters, yes. Yeah. All right, so what what other kind of merchandise do you have on there? We, with the whole package, and thankfully the Kickstarter did go through, so we're allowed to do merch, and we'll have t-shirts, and <gasps> it, it all will match the album, and the whole, the whole I thing. I love t-shirts! So I really want to do, like, bottle openers, too. <laughs> Koozies, you got koozies. Of course, koozies. Yeah, everybody's got koozies. Okay, so I just realized that your voice impression of me is right because I was like, <laughs> I love t-shirts, and I was like, oh wait, that sounds kind of like you making fun of me. <laughs> Hashtag vindicated. <laughs> <laughs> well, we love you guys very, very much, and I am so happy you took the trip out here today uh, to come and see us. It's really special for us because we just started doing this. Uh, I guess last week this was the first actual in person in the studio interview yeah, so week, yeah, yeah so so this is really special for us that you guys would take the time out to come out here and do this and i'm telling you you gotta do one of those house parties if you haven't because having them in here sing uh for us super special nothing like it nothing like it right we've got like the best hobby in the world because you know artists come and do this for us all the time mm-hmm. but these two really really click together i they mean do. this is this was fun this was really fun they're a good team this is like a little different than a lot of them too that yeah. we've had. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I don't I think know that sometimes after shows people will say that and like you guys on stage together. Yeah, it's it like works. So I'm like it's like okay, a lock cool. and a key. I'm keeping him. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So thank you again though for coming yes. and for for chilling with us and hanging out and putting up with us and all that good stuff. I see Maggie killing something in the background. Now you uh, <laughs> now do you had a couple of dates though before we go? Um, yeah. Well, I, I, this Friday I'll be at Belcourt with uh, for a birthday party. Okay. Nine p.m. round, and then um, I will actually be at the Bluebird for the first. That's yes. big news. Yeah. April twenty fifth. So I April twenty fifth at the Bluebird. Yes. Okay. Like counting down. 
All right, so we need to make sure we share that on social media too. Right. And mm-hmm. Yeah, because that's going to be cool. Yeah. That's a big deal. That is so cool. That's a big deal. Yeah. And my parents are going to drive down for it. Oh, mom and dad are going to be in it's town. Like, it's special. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay, so before we go, give me some advice for somebody that wants to get into the music industry. Like, uh, say a little girl comes up to you after a show, says, man, Kirsty, I really love what you do. You're beautiful. You're talented. You know, what do I do? What's my first step? I would say, one, go to coffee with as many people as you possibly can and ask them questions about their path and their journey. And then take take that and do what's right for you because everyone's obviously everyone's path is different but sometimes one of the like you know of that whole hour conversation they have with someone you'll at least come out with a couple like nuggets like good tips and you're like yes i'm in it and i'm gonna do that and i would say um anytime you hear someone say a name like you know like the kicking ass taking names kind of thing like write it down make your life easy don't look for it later. Like, just write it down, screenshot it at that moment so you have it. Beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Always looking for You're good so advice. Lit. Yeah, hey, she is pretty thank lit. Thank you huh? guys for having mm-hmm. us. Well, thank me. you guys. Thank you guys. We love you guys to death. We really, really do. Awesome. Uh, okay, so I do want to give a quick shout out because I didn't play the uh, the ads. It's CMA Fest. Uh, come out and see us in June. You can get all the information that you want on ChrisTopProgram.com. Also, a big thank you to Magnolia Emporium because if it wasn't for Randy over at Magnolia Emporium, we wouldn't have the red carpet, the red carpet pictures, the T-shirts, the awards. It wouldn't be as cool. It wouldn't be as lit, right? I guess, lit. at the CMA Fest. Yeah, so... Do you want to take us out this time? I think I did it last sure, time. Sure, okay. So, I'm still trying to remember my lines for this. You just can I, make stuff up. Just wing okay. it. Yeah, you're good. Um, okay, so you could be doing a million, bajillion, trillion, trillion other things, but you chose to listen to us, and that's pretty cool, I guess. So until we broadcast again, please remember this. Life is good, and we're gone. Maybe a door things might be looking grim I guess it's time for an acronym two